Jay we're, we're here with Mark Hoffman with Case IH, and uh, they have a, an educational component to their booth here at the Case booth, uh, demonstrating some of their vertical tillage and uh, actually allowing the attendees here to, to see it firsthand and to experience it rather than just a piece of static equipment on the show floor. Mark is going to show us uh, what they have here in their booth. Go ahead, okay. Mark. What we've got here is our 330 simulator. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to introduce to the customers uh, the, 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 the way the blades uh, perform in the field. And this way we have a, almost like a three-dimensional three display where we're actually going to simulate soil with these yellow BBs coming off these blades instead of showing a poster or a video. So the farmers will actually be able to stand around this booth and actually see the performance of these blades and how the soil well, would come off the blades at certain speeds. What I'll do is I'll start it up for us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start it off at about five and a half miles an hour. Okay. Like I said, what we're what we're doing here is we're actually using these yellow BBs to, to simulate the soil and the way we're actually flowing off the blade. The competition we have out in the, in the uh, marketplace nowadays, there's a lot of stories going around about, you know, who's got the best blade, what it does, who is freaking back to the soil, who is steering, uh, and on and on and on. And with this type of, uh, of demonstration, we can actually show the farmer you know, why, for how we, our blades will run you know, in the field. So we're actually showing that we'll get up a little bit faster. That as as the BBs come in, they're coming off of both sides of the blade, not just one side. So there's been some questions people ask saying, well, wh why is it different than a regular disc arrow? Alright, this shows you right here. Soil coming off of both sides of the blade is going to be in just top control one way. The next question we keep hearing from a lot of guys is, all right, what's the optimum speed on a run? Should I run five, six, seven, eight miles an hour? What's the best speed I'm going to get the best job? When here, I can actually sit here and I can actually regulate the speed of this game to uh, simulate the speed I'm going to be running in the field. So when a farmer says, well, what do I do at five miles an hour? I actually slow this game down to simulate five miles an hour. We can actually see exactly how it's going to throw off that blade. Okay? But I say, all right, let's just take it, let's just move it, let's bump it up to six and a half mile an hour and see what it does. I take it up to six mile an hour. Now, the mixing action I have behind this game is a lot, a lot more than it was at five. And then I can sit there and go, all right, let's say, let's say what the optimum speed that I like is say around seven and a half to eight miles an hour. Let's take it up that way and see where it goes. This is at seven and a half, almost eight miles an hour. There, we've shown the farmer the difference between the five to six and a half and now almost eight miles an hour. So now, instead of him seeing pictures, a video, he can now stand here and he can actually visually see what the difference is going to be as far as the mixing action I'm going to get behind this machine. And also, this kind of answers the question, all right, you guys just cup it and throw it one way. As you can see here, you got things flying everywhere. It does not. So pretty much, well, you've answered questions right here. All right, thanks very much.